this is what I do to meditate. So I had this plant that had all these long poto plants like that I did last year and just so much they've grown already. Uh, some of them <clears throat> that I couldn't, that were too small, like the leaves were really small so I just left them on the string. But uh, what, now I'm going to show you how a really easy way to replant these and uh, best way and then I'll show you <clears throat> what happens when you do this. Alright, so let's get started. I've already cut them off the main off the main plant so you know, you start from the bottom so this is this is the bottom I, I cut off because it was very thin stem so I wanted to restart them so the first one doesn't have a leaf on it so the first little nud there does not have a leaf on it right there so I'm going to cut that one off you cut on an angle, it's probably best to cut on an angle. And just underneath the next nud where you would cut it. And then right here, you want to cut it. Make sure you don't cut any other like leaf or anything. You just cut that right there. And then they look like that. And this is how you replant your potos and then right there where is where the roots are going to come out. So I got my water here. So all you do is put them in the water right there. So I'm going to do the rest and all the way to where like over here there's no leaf. So I might just put like there's a leaf coming on the top. There's a leaf coming on the top of it. So I might just cut it right here. Or I mean right here. We'll cut it right here, the bottom one. Cut it right there. And then that one here might get a leaf because that one will be into the water too. All right. So because that one doesn't have a leaf, so we'll put that one under water and that one under water. So if we put two of them under water, now we have two chances. So this we'll put in water like that. So we'll make sure that the other part is in the water too. Alright, so then I cut this part off here because there's no leaf on this part. So I'm just going to cut that off. And you about like a quarter of an inch, I don't know, like that. I don't know what that is, like an eighth of an inch. You just cut them all like this. And then you put them in water. Some of them have like little dry leaves, but that will root right there. See the little nuts. Some people just put them in the dirt and then they start, but I like to get a little roots on them. So I will show you when there's roots. I'll make another video. So this is the reason I'm doing this is because it is like this. So some of them don't have a leaf. They might fall off. They might have got dry, whatever. These plants, they do like a lot of water, but they are very tough plants and easy to grow. If anybody want to do this, this is the best way to replant your plants. And they say to always uh, replant your house plants once a year. So I'm also going to do the readings. I'm going to do the rest of the readings from Virgo to Pisces today. I had a really good sleep. I meditated and went to sleep. Had a good sleep. Really good sleep. Woke up today at 11:11. Feel great. Everything's good. Yeah. So I'm probably gonna fast forward this, and you guys are. This is what I'm doing. It's just cutting them, cutting them all, putting them in water, and then you just put them under a lamp or whatever, and warm place, and then you get roots. That's what I do anyway, and it works for me. So you're gonna cut out between. You're gonna cut off the little stems in between. And I like these little vases that are straight like this. They work the best for these. The little smaller vases like that. So I can put quite a few in here. So we're still working on the first one. We're almost done the first one. I got two lines here to do. And I just keep cutting them and I'll show you what I do at the end. 
So yeah, the end one we already cut the top off, so yeah, we just cut in between there just like that. The end one I already did it, I guess, first. So we just put them all in the water. Stick them in there and make sure the water stays fresh every day, every other day, whatever. Check your water. Make sure the water is nice and clean. You don't want the water to get mucky. There, and this one's full. I'm gonna go find another one. I'm gonna pause this while I go find another one. All right, we're back, and we're gonna finish this one and this one. And I got my little thing of water here. This is one of those little jars. It works too. So I'm just gonna cut between there. Snip, snip. See when you when you plant them like this. If you plant them like this, then all like. The roots have to work so much harder because of all this. The nutrients is going to the other leaves, right? So when you plant, when you start a plant, you want it to start with like its own. Uh, sometimes the end ones don't come up, but this one I think will because it's got already some roots down there. It doesn't take long for the roots to come in. Maybe like maybe like four or five days. Sometimes ten. I don't know. Depends on. How well you have the water in there, how much water, how you take care of it. So for some, this could be a boring video, but I'm just going to do this. In between there, there's another one, but I'm just going to cut that one off. And this is how I get my all my potos, and at the end, I'll show you what they look like when, I, when they start coming back. So I'll, you know, it'll be like fast forward, but I did the other ones last year too. But the other ones didn't have these little strings. This was just one of the plants that had a lot of string left and I couldn't really do anything about it because that they were too small, too thin, fragile. So I'm going to cut them all first and then put them all in the water. And the top one, yeah, I'll cut that too. There, I'm going to put them all in there. Make sure they all get water. I'm going to have to put a little more water in there after. Make sure they all get dipped in the water. They love water. To get the roots. And they like the warmth and the sun. Well, they like, not direct sun, but. So this last one. So I'm going to cut that. I'm not even watching where I'm. So I'm going to cut these two, and I'm going to cut them all now. Alright, so these ones are going to go. Okay, so I'm going to show you where I put them. And they came from this plant right here. This one here is like the one that I planted, all the ones that were like the, the smallest pieces and stuff like that. So there's some other ones out here that I'm going to let grow a little bit longer. So they can get a little bit stronger and before I start taking from those ones. But there are some there that are doing really well. So this is where I'm going to put them. I'm going to take this one down here and put it down here. And I'm going to put those other ones up here. Here's one of them. Here's one of them. Just make sure you got all the water in there. Put, put it right here. And I got a lamp right there. So put that right here. I got my little cactus, I mean my little um, aloe vera plants. I got another one over here. I I put them in mugs. And then I got my uh, I got my other arrowhead plant that I bought last year. It was tiny. Now it's big. And that's probably the same way you take leaves from it. But it's not big enough to do that yet. Here's a snake plant I got from somebody in this building. And uh, here's um, my arrowhead that I got from a friend of mine in town here and uh, so I'm, I'm doing the same thing with the with this arrowhead I'm doing the same thing as I did with these potos so if anybody like to know how to do that this is how you do it so there they are right there by the lamp um, by the by the lamp these ones over here a little bit but this one more closer 
So these ones are going to get root soon. I got I just put fresh water in them. So waiting for them to root. And yeah, so now I can put this plant back up in here. And there's my plants that are here. Sorry about the mesh you have. But yeah, there's my plants that I have here. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like and share if you like. Almost forgot, I want to show you uh, my other plants that I was talking about earlier. This is one year what they look like. This is in one year. And I just uh, gave them a shower. So uh, every once in a while I give them a shower. And this one here actually has some some that are kind of like thin too and that I will probably cut off like this one here like I have some plants that are mixed with other ones so this one here I could do the same thing with that's how much it has grown it was just tiny like maybe over here when I when it first started so look at these ones this one here is a nice thick one so those are different type of photos so that's what it looks like in one year and here's the rest of them here I got a marble one. I hang them up in my house, but I give them light. And there's a marble one mixed with the other one. I just letting them drain out of the water. And sometimes you need to rinse the uh, soil too, if you don't uh, put new soil. And this one there's beautiful. Look, it's coming down. I love it when they start hanging down. That's so awesome. I'm gonna go hang them back in the window. But I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. God bless. And like, share, subscribe if you like. Bye.